Hi everyone, siz English Clubus kanaldasiz. Bugun dersligimiz dialog orqali ingliz tili o'rganish bo'ladi. Demak, birgalikda dialog tarjima qilamiz. Bugungi dialogimiz mavzusi ob-havo haqida bo'ladi, ya'ni siz ob-havo haqida gapirish uchun ishlatiladigan har xil so'z va iboralarni o'rganib olishingiz mumkin. Xo'p, dialogimizda ikki kishi suhbatlashyapti. Jennifer and Gabriella. Xo'p, odatdagidan boshqacharoq qilgan holda bugun men avval birgalikda tarjima qilamiz. Keyin men xuddi suhbat bo'layotgandek o'qib berishga harakat qilaman. Xo'p, qani bo'lmasam boshladik. Jennifer gapiryapti. It's freezing outside. It's freezing outside. Uh, freezing degani shu cold, juda ham sovuq sovuq ob havoni tasvirlashda freezing deb aytiladi. Uh, it's freezing. Uh, juda ham sovuq. Ya'ni o'sha muzlatadigan outside, outside tashqarida degani. It's freezing outside. Tashqarida juda ham sovuq bo'lyapti deyapti. Uh, Ko'rayotgan bo'lsangiz, mana uh, emphasize qilib, undo belgisi bilan, ya'ni urg'u berib. What happened to the weather report? What happened to the weather report? Nima bo'ldi deyapti? What nima? Happen sodir bo'lmoq. To uh, ga sodir bo'lmoq. What happened to ga sodir bo'lmoq. The weather report. Weather report uh, yoki weather report. Amerikanchada o'qimoqchi bo'lsangiz, Britaniyada weather report. Xo'p, ob-havo ma'lumotiga nima bo'ldi deyapti? Jennifer uh, so'rayapti. What happened to the weather report? Uh, Ob-havo ma'lumotiga nima bo'ldi? Nima sodir bo'ldi? I thought this cold front was supposed to pass. I thought this cold this cold front was supposed to pass. I thought men o'ylagandim. Uh, I thought men o'ylagandim. This cold front. Xo'p, mana bu cold front, cold front bu juda ham alaga juda ham katta, qattiq shamol, sovuq shamol bo'lishi, bo'lish mana shunaqa o'sha paytni cold front deydi, ana shu shamolni. Juda ham katta, ulkan, juda ham qattiq muzlatadigan sovuq bo'ladi. Ana shu cold front deyladi. I thought this cold front, men o'ylagandim, mana shu o'sha sovuq shamol, juda ham o'sha sovuq shamol was supposed to pass. Supposed to Uh, supposed to bu o'zbek tiliga tarjima qilganda tushuntirib beraman. Buni tarjima qilgandan ko'ra ma'nosini tushunib olsangiz, uh, menimcha osonroq bo'ladi. Supposed to degani o'sha biror kutilgan narsa haqida gapirganda ishlatiladi. Mana shunaqa bo'lishi kerak edi uh, degan paytingizda uh, shunaqa bo'lishi kerak edi, shunaqa kutilgan edi. Mana shunaqa ma'noda kelganda uh, be supposed to, is supposed to yoki was supposed to mana mana bu was o'sha am is are ni o'tgan zamon shakli was supposed to pass o'tib ketishi kerak edi pass degani o'sha o'tib o'tmoq o'tib ketmoq was supposed to pass o'tib ketishi kerak edi o'tib ketishi kutilayotgan edi degan ma'noda kelyapti demak men o'ylagandim mana bu shu sovuq shamol o'tib ketishi kerak edi demak o'tib ketishi kutilayotgan edi deb o'ylagandim yoki o'tib ketish kerak edi deb o'ylagan edim deyapti. Endi Gabriella, Gabriella javob beryapti. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah degani, yeah, yes bilan bir xil ma'nosi. Bu faqat o'sha informal. Datta do'stlar bilan yoki o'sha ko'cha Ko'cha tilida shunaqa deb ishlatilganda, ya, yes bilan bir xil ma'nosida. I thought, men yana o'ylagandim, deyapti. I thought so, I thought so. Shunaqa o'ylagan edim. I thought so, shunaqa o'ylagan edim. To ham degani, men ham shunaqa o'ylagan edim. I think so. Shunaqa shunaqa deb o'ylayman. Deganingizni o'tgan zamon shakli I thought so. Shunaqa o'ylagan edim. I thought so too. Shunaqa o'ylagan, men ham shunaqa o'ylagan edim. That's what I read online this morning. 
Mm -hmm. That's what I read online this morning. Ana osha min uqyanim deyapti mana shu tongda. That's what that's what mana shu holatda ishlatiladi. That's what bu bitta ibora urg'u berganda ishlatiladi buni ham. That's what I did misol uchun. Ana osha men qilgan narsa, mana shu men qilganim deb osha urg'u bergan paytda ishlatiladi. That's what endi bu yerda aytyapti that's what I read. Read o'qmoq online online this morning this bu ushbu morning tong demak mana shu tongda shu ertalab osha bugun ertalab online o'qiganim edi ana osha shu bugun online o'qiganim edi ya'ni osha cold front mana bu sovuq shamol o'tib ketishini online o'qigan ekan gabriela xo'p mana buni o'rganib olsangiz bo'ladi bundan keyin Xo'p, aytmoqchi bo'lgan gapingizni qo'shib aytsangiz bo'ladi. That's what I heard deyishingiz mumkin. I heard hear eshitmoq o'shani o'tgan zamon shaklida. That's what I heard. Ana o'sha men eshitganim. Men ana shuni eshitdim. Qanaqadir o'sha urg'u bergan paytda ishlatishingiz mumkin. Mana hozir videoni to'xtatib, mana shunga agar qo'lingizdan kelsa, gap tuzib olsangiz, kommentda bitta misol keltirib yozib qo'ysangiz, esingizda qolishiga oson bo'ladi. Xo'p, endi Jennifer gapiryapti. I guess the wind chill is really driving down the temperature. I guess the wind chill is really driving down the temperature. I guess menimcha degani taxminimcha guess taxmin qilmoq degani I guess taxminimcha menimcha the wind chill xo'p wind chill degani mana bu ham sovuq shamolga nisbatan ishlatiladi wind chill o'sha tanangizga sovuq shamol urib sovuq qotsiz sovuq qotishingiz ana shu wind chill bo'ladi tanangizga muzdak shamol urganda siz sovuq qotasiz-ku ana shu holat wind chill bo'ladi wind chill Ana shu shamol shunaqa bo'ladi anaqroq. Wind chill, o'sha sovuq shamol is really driving down, driving down. Drive down degani tushirmoq, biror nimani o'sha pastga tushirmoq. Drive down. Bu phrasal verb, ya'ni o'sha mana shu holatda keladi drive down bo'lib tushirmoq. The temperature, temperature, temperatura. Temperaturani tushiryapti deyapti really o'sha juda ham deb bu yerda gapga ana qilyapti. Gap ma'nosini kuchaytirib beryapti. Juda ham yoki haqiqatda deyishingiz mumkin. Ba'zi birlar haqiqatda deb aytishi mumkin. Ya komment yozib, kommentda ba'zi birlar shunaqa deb ana qiladi. Really nasl ma'nos haqiqatda degani deb komment yozib qoldirishingiz mumkin. Shunaqa deb tarjima qilsangiz, bu ham sizni o'zingizni nima deydi? Ma'nosini muhimi tushunsangiz bo'ldi. I guess, demak menimcha, sovuq shamol temperaturani tushiryapti juda ham deyapti. Juda ham tushiryapti, tushirib yuboryapti. Gabriela gapiryapti endi. Can we go inside? Can we go inside? Can qila olmoq, can we go, go bormoq inside ichkariga. Demak, ichkariga kira olamizmi, ichkariga kirsak bo'ladimi deyapti. Gabriela so'rayapti Jenniferdan. I feel like my toes are starting are starting to go numb to go numb. Mhm. I feel like men his qilyapman. I feel depta I feel his qilyapman like xuddi I feel like xuddi I feel men his qilyapman like xuddi my toes my toes meni barmoqlarim ya'ni oyog'imni barmoqlari a starting starting start degani boshlamoq a starting boshlayapti to go numb go numb numb degani anaqa bo'lishi o'zbek tilida nima bo'larda shu pas so'zlik sinni achib qoladi o'zbekchada go numb karaxt bo'lib uvishib qoladi-yu sovuqdan ana shu holat ana shuni numb deydi numb Go numb degani o'sha uvishib qol, uvishib qolmoq, karaxt bo'lib qolmoq 
soğudan. Adiabdi me xuddi xuddi meni barmoqlarim uvishib qolishni boshlayotgandek his qilyapman deyapti. Shuning uchun can we go inside deb Jennifer dan so'rayapti. Xo'p, endi bitta xuddi suhbat bo'layotgandek o'qib berishga harakat qilaman. Hozir diqqat bilan tinglang va so'zlarni demak talaffuzini ham o'rganishingizga bir imkoniyat bo'ladi deb o'ylayman. Hani bo'lmasam boshladim. It's freezing outside. What happened to the weather report? I thought this cold front was supposed to pass. Yeah, I thought so too. That's what I read online this morning. I guess the wind chill is really driving down the temperature. Can we go inside? I feel like my toes are starting to go numb. Okay, dostlar. Mana mana shu bugungi darsligimizning oxiri bo'ladi. Umid qilamanki, bu sizlarga ma'qul keldi. Agar yoqqan bo'lsa, like bosishni unutmang. Agar yoqmagan bo'lsa, dislike bossangiz ham mayli. O'z fikr mulohazangizni kommentda albatta yozib qoldiring. Keyingi video darsligida ko'rishguncha salomat bo'ling.